Hi everyone, here's another example of me painting over an existing acrylic piece and um, right now I'm using the Liquitex black gesso and spritzing on water and the tool that I have there is a splatcher. Now I'm going in with my 12 inch freestyle palette knife, also from Liquitex, uh, and put some white down and mixing in some black gesso to get this really nice thin layer of gray. Uh, not sure at this point where I'm gonna go with it. So I just keep wiping, 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 or I should say swiping, swiping, swiping with that large palette knife, uh, watching the drips coming down and uh, just sort of clearing off my palette knife there, spritzing a little more. Uh, very intrigued with how the paint is dripping down over the canvas. And then I wipe it. Here's me uh, coming back with the splatcher again. Um, and this is the reveal. The splatcher is lovely because it, it's got a rubber end. So when you pull across that wash of gesso mixed with white. Uh, it doesn't scrape away the underneath layer of paint. It just gently wipes away that layer of gesso. And then I was quite intrigued with how that worked, so I kept experimenting, going back and forth, loving how the yellow is starting to show through and contrast against the black gesso. So while I was at that, I decided to see what else I could reveal. And there's that beautiful light blue coming through. At this point, I want to blend the gray in with that kind of periwinkle blue that's up in the upper left-hand corner. And I actually had spritzed the splatcher tool with water. And then it allowed me to sort of uh, loosen up the gesso as it was drying. I paint very quickly so the the paint stays wet while I work with it. Not the bottom layer. The bottom layer of the abstract was perfectly bone dry, but this top layer um, I worked quite quickly to kind of provide a light wash. I wanted to introduce some more yellow because I saw the yellow on the right side and I needed to, I felt I needed to balance some of it and then I wanted to lighten the painting up. So loaded the 12 inch freestyle palette knife with titanium white, and then just started having a go, not sure how it was going to um, appear. 90% of why I love to paint, and to paint with uh, no fear is, it forces me to be in the moment and be aware of how the piece is evolving. So really no preconceived notions. It's flying by the seat of your pants, looking for balance. I zoomed in here because I wanted you to see that you can use the edge of the splatcher tool to sort of cut in lines. Uh, most of the marking that I do is actually with the acrylic paint and the tool and water. Uh, later I might add the china marker or um, I may use some charcoal. I haven't experimented too much with adding pastel at this point in time when this video is being recorded, but it's, uh, it's somewhere that I want to also uh, head out to explore. Adding a little bit of the rose pink to kind of, I didn't want the painting to be too dark this is one of my favorite things, is to use a, um, a spritzer and kind of cut through the layer of paint that's there. The layer of paint is wet still. And I use the fine nozzle to cut through and start to create some marks that way as well. And then of course, splatcher tool to spread the drips, which still have some of the pink in them. And again, the edge of the Splatcher tool to cut through, revealing the black underneath. A 
just felt moved to add a little bit more white again for balance because there's so much white on the left hand side I felt I needed to bring something um, over sorry so much white on the left hand side I needed to bring more on the right hand side also I like to use the white to help open up a piece especially in the middle um, so we can kind of see through to the layer underneath I'm getting close to finishing at this point um, put a nice thick layer of the Liquitex titanium white doing some final scraping looking for what I can um, reveal in the underpainting felt that it was still a little dark so using my splatcher tool to apply a little more titanium white always stepping back always stepping back double checking and that's that's about it we've got a finished piece there thanks for watching